guys welcome back so today I'm going to do a White Walker Halloween makeup tutorial as you can see I look pretty scary right now this is supposed to be like a glam White Walker kind of like the Night Queen if you know what I mean if you watch Game of Thrones you would know what that means by the way I used all regular makeup products that I had in my collection I didn't use anything extra like anything that from the Halloween store or any like special effect makeup so if you'd like to see how I got this look then please keep watching Okay, to start out, I primed my face with the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer, and then I went in with the LA Girl Pro Illuminating Foundation in the shade White, which is the foundation lightener. I'm using a damp beauty blender just to blend this out all over my face. Um, I just use this to create a white base. You can use any white cream product you have, but this is what I had on hand, and it's really handy because I use this already for lightening my regular foundation, so I just already have this in my collection. So it made it really easy. Um, this doesn't have super opaque coverage. As you can see when I'm blending it out, my skin color does start peeking through a bit, so you can just get around that by adding a little bit more and blending it out as you can see right here. And I basically blend this everywhere on my face and then I drag it down my neck a little bit. Um, in the future, or like in your own, if you were doing this for yourself, you could try blending it down your neck and on your chest a little bit and doing the design there as well just to kind of make the look a little bit more intense and more put together but since I was kind of just focusing on the face when I was doing this and it was my first time doing this look I just focused on the face and then to set that down I'm using the Studio Makeup HD finishing powder this is just a translucent setting powder so I'm basically putting it everywhere just to give a matte finish to my whole face this is the picture that I'm using for inspiration it's just a Photoshop picture of Daenerys looking like the Night Queen which is one of the White Walkers on Game of Thrones so now to do the design on the face, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics Palette. I'm using the shade Magnet, which is a darker gray matte shade. And then I'm also using the shade Blackjack, which is the black shade in the palette. And I started out with the gray one and I'm using an angled eyeliner brush just to create the design because I didn't want to go in with a thick, you know, brush at first. I wanted to be more precise just to get the general design on my face mapped out. But you know, you could do whatever you're comfortable with. This was just was easy for me. But I'm going to end up thickening up these lines and blending them out to create a little bit more of a shadowed effect later on. This is just mapping out the design. So as you can see, I'm basically just creating a bunch of lines on my face that kind of move from the nose outward to my ears. And then on the nose, it kind of has wrinkled looking lines, kind of, you know, they're supposed to resemble wrinkles in a way, but look creepy. And these lines on my cheeks basically just extend from my mouth and my nose all the way out to my ears. So you can basically do this however you want. You can even use an eyeliner if you wanted to, or like a liquid liner, a pencil liner, anything that you want. If it's easier for you, I just personally wanted to use eyeshadow because it's more forgiving if you need to, you know, fix any mistakes, you could kind of blend it out a little bit better rather than using an eyeliner because that's, you know, going to set down and be a little bit more difficult to remove. Um, but I just did freehand with all of this. I was kind of just basing it off of that picture and it wasn't that difficult. I'm not by any means like a pro at this. This is the first time I've done a look like this, so I was definitely out of my comfort zone, but it actually didn't end up being too difficult, so, you know, if you were thinking of doing this look, it's not its not that bad. So basically just keep doing these lines and continue them from your mouth down to your chin and um, they go across your lips as well. That's what I did at least. So just creating these lines everywhere. Um, it's pretty repetitive as you can see, but you get the idea. Just keep doing lines. And then when it's kind of the area between your cheek and mouth, like chin, I don't know, this area that I'm doing right now, I wasn't as precise, I was kind of just like adding lines just to fill in the area, fill in the gaps, because I was like, I don't know what else to do in this area. Then I just decided to do some little like triangle shapes up here by my nose, and then I was creating more wrinkle lines under my eyes, just to make it look more wrinkly and creepy. And then for my forehead, creating these kind of like crown horn like shapes. Um, if you watch Game of Thrones or you've seen pictures of the Night King, which is like the leader of the White Walkers, he has these kind of like horn looking things 
on his forehead. Like that looked like they're made of ice, but obviously I'm not using prosthetics in this look. I'm just using makeup. So I just drew them on my forehead to kind of look like that. And then here I'm using a blending brush. This is kind of like a flat blending brush, so I can be a little bit precise with it, but blend out and make these lines a little bit bigger than the angled eyeliner brush. And I'm just using that gray shadow again, just thickening up all of these lines. So you get the idea. I skipped over a bunch of it because it gets really repetitive. I wanted to kind of give you a look at the whole design at first, drawing with the eyeliner, but or I mean with the eyeliner brush, but then here when I'm just thickening them up, you get the idea. I'm just thickening every single line on the face with this brush and the gray matte shadow again. But don't feel like you have to use the Naked Ultimate Basics palette from Urban Decay. That's just what I had on hand that was easy to use. You can use any gray and matte shadow that uh, you want. Basically, just do whatever you have. Use whatever you have in your, you know, in your collection. That's what I was doing, basically. And then I was kind of connecting some of the lines from my nose to my cheeks just to make everything look a little bit more cohesive. I wasn't sure if I was going to do that at the beginning, but then I was like, eh, it looks good like this, so that's what I did. So kind of just like play it by ear, see what looks good, see what you feel like you should do as you go along with it. Um, and then here I'm just, you know, thickening up the lines on the forehead. The reason why I was thickening up these lines is I kind of wanted to create more of a dimensional shadowed look so that they look like they're popping out a little bit more than if it was just flat lines, if you know what I mean. That was just what my intention was. I don't know if it ended up like that, but that was what I was going for. Um, you'll see later on that I end up adding some lines with the black shadow, with the, er, sorry, with the angled eyeliner brush. I go back into the black shadow and add some lines on top of these gray blown outlines just to kind of create a little bit more dimension because I just wanted to, you know, have a, kind of like a shadowed look so that they look like they're popping out of the skin a little bit more. That's what my goal was. Um, so basically I just create like some black lines on top of these lines and just kind of blend it out a little bit. But I don't have that on camera later on, I still see it kind of cut while I was filming. So now for the eyes, the eyes are more of like a glam look, it's not super scary. I use the Too Faced Chocolate Shop palette which is from last year's holiday collection. I used a light grey matte shadow which is called Guilt Free. Just as a transition shade and I buffed it all over my lid as well. Then I went back into the Urban Decay palette and used the shade Magnet and just intensified the crease. Started building up the color there. Then I went back into the Too Faced palette and used the shade uh, Indulge. I forgot what it was called. It's a shimmery silver shade and I used the Milani setting spray just to intensify the shadow and make it look more metallic. Then I started blending the crease, adding more of the gray shadow. Then I went back into the black matte shadow and just intensified the outer corner just to give more dimension and definition there, you know? Kind of smoke it out a little bit. And then I used the gray shadow on my lower lash line just to smoke it out, make it kind of match the my eyelid. Then I used some falsies and wood lean. <laughs> then I used some falsies and wing liner. Here you can see I used the black shadow on top just to create more dimension. And then I used my Skin Food Buckwheat Loose Powder just to add more white to my face and kind of blend everything out. And that completes the look. So here I'm just doing some poses, but that's basically it. So this completes my White Walker makeup tutorial for Halloween. And I did have a lot of fun filming this look. It actually didn't take as long as I expected. I thought it was gonna take a little bit longer than it did. I am a big Game of Thrones fan, and last year I did a Daenerys Halloween look, but then this year I wanted to do something a little bit different. But I used my same Daenerys wig because I've seen a picture like circulating around on the internet where it was like Daenerys Photoshop to look like the Night Queen if you know what I mean from Game of Thrones. So that's what I kind of based this look on. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know in the comments what you think about this look. And if you try to recreate it, tag me on Instagram or on YouTube or whatever. Just let me know so I can check it out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. And happy Halloween if I don't do any more Halloween videos. Bye!